David, you are currently at the airport and you are heading to testify to Congress because you have found that healthcare.gov, this website, still has some major security risks, right? That's right. You know, I did initial testimony, uh, I believe it was November 17th uh, of last year, and uh, we identified a number of, of exposures that we found with the healthcare.gov website, and uh, none of them except for one has been partially addressed. How many flaws are, how did you find with the system still today? Today, I believe there's a total of 27 uh, existing exposures with the healthcare.gov website. Um, out of those, a number of them are critical and high. When we see the way information is passed back and forth, there's a big concern that that information may lead to some type of identity theft, medical uh, identity theft, or other types of problems. If I'm signing up for healthcare.gov and I'm, I'm worried about my private information because there's a lot of private information uh, when you are signing up, I mean, what as a security researcher would you tell me I should be most afraid of? The ability to extract um, personal information from the site, uh, ability, ability to grab your first name, last name, email address, uh, ability to um, compromise your machine if you visit the website and hack your machine. All of those are possibilities right now with what's existing on the site itself. It's well over 70,000. I stopped at 70,000 because um, you know, I got kind of bored with, with extracting all that information. My concern is that the sensitive information as far as information about your family, your income, other data uh, could end up being exposed and be using, used by rogue third parties. Anything that you enter in there, anything that you've done with the government is at risk. Um, there's no question about it. I mean, the integration with IRS, integration with DHS, all of those are all information that, that, that healthcare.gov and that data hub, which is what's you know, touted as kind of the core in the middle that, that handles everything, is at risk. Without them having independent third-party testing of the site, I would have to give it a failing grade.